Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Out here at the garden today, doing a lot of uh, weeding. I actually started weeding this part uh, a day ago. Planted some marigolds that I got from my mom, which is pretty cool. We got some new things here as well. I can talk about that in a little bit. Um, really happy with the raspberries. They're kind of going crazy and starting to propagate themselves, which is awesome. Uh, rhubarb is like super. It's uh, really great. It's gone to seed already. Um, there's still a bunch left to be harvested though, so it's all good. Uh, the wild strawberries are crazy, and for the most part, uh, we did now. I took out most of the weeds. A few stragglers here and there, but uh, lots of flowers. Hopefully there should be quite a few strawberries. Um, today though, I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, reminder, which I needed um, for myself, is that uh, sometimes we might give up too easy. So uh, don't give up before you try. <laughs> so what I was uh, thinking about was uh, this whole area here. If you remember from a while back, uh, we planted a bunch of strawberries, which I got from my mom. And uh, this whole little patch here was all strawberries and a couple of sage plants, which you can see one of them right there. But uh, anywho, long story short, it's been neglected as you can see. The uh, weeds were almost chest high uh, all the way around. You can see I've been doing a lot of weeding here. But uh, I was looking at this and getting really discouraged. I was like, man, this sucks. Like, what the heck am I gonna do with this? I don't wanna be like in here weeding. Plus the strawberries are probably already dead. I was thinking like, there's no way there'll be anything you know useful under this. And so what I was thinking of doing was just coming in, scything it all down, covering it with uh, cardboard and then remulch and start over again. And then, uh, you know, I was just kind of like weeding here uh, behind the uh, rhubarb and the sage here. Found those nice little onions there that I got from my brother. And then lo and behold, I kind of just started coming this way. I found this little sorrel plant here. I was like, oh, I'll leave that, that's cool. And then I found a couple of the strawberries here on the edge. And I thought, oh man, they look pretty good actually. And they got flowers. Some of them already have some uh, small, you know, green fruits formed already. And then I just uh, kind of started coming farther and farther this way and I just found more and more strawberries. And uh, they're actually in not really bad shape. And also because it's been mulched, the weeds are somewhat uh, easy to pull out. So then I just started, you know, kind of getting a second wind here. And uh, as you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress. So I've kind of come into the end of the strawberries here. We had uh, tomatoes and stuff planted over there last year. I'm gonna probably unweed that as well. But uh, you can see it's uh, not a lost cause. There's actually tons of strawberries and uh, lots of little you know, beginnings of fruit already formed. You can see lots of flowers. You can see a little, little guy right here. So there's definitely gonna be strawberries. And uh, I think it's worth the effort of um, you know, weeding the area. And if nothing else, I get to save my uh, sage plant. <laughs> there's one here and there's another one behind it. But uh, yeah, I mean, this was like even higher here on the edges. So this was very close to like chest high, almost all the way around. I've got a ton of weeds here, here, all behind me, on the other side as well, over there. Got some new apple trees planted out. You guys can see those. Been doing quite a bit of work. Uh, cleaned up, pruned up this um, somewhat dying uh, sour cherry tree. It's got fruit on it, hopefully. It'll give us some nice tasty fruits later this, uh, spring or early summer. Uh, got more raspberries planted out on the edge here. Got some nice flowers that Mrs. Seal planted. She did a nice little rock garden over there. We got chives here. Here's all the wild strawberries. Uh, that sage plant I weeded out and there's another one there. So things are looking pretty good. Um, you can see a lot more raspberries formed here. I think I only planted maybe two or three here before and all of these other ones are just you know popping up from the uh, natural spread so I'm really happy about that um, like I say uh, I got these chives from forever and a day ago for my brother finally planted that out we got our little uh, pomegranate tree here I was uh, watching this anxiously uh, all late winter and early spring to see if there's any sign of life and I was getting pretty discouraged with this as well because uh, from all of the branches it looks like there's nothing so you can see there's no leaves 
at all. Uh, no buds, nothing. But then there you go, right there at the base, it's uh, shooting out. So what that means, I think, is, and correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows for, sh for sure, uh, but I think this probably did not like the cold here, and it was a little bit too exposed, so this probably died back, and now it's sending out new shoots from the roots, I think. That's kind of what I'm assuming. So uh, what I'm gonna do is this year, in the winter, I will probably pile uh, bags of leaves around it to try and give it a little bit of extra insulation and give it more warmth. So hopefully that'll be doing pretty good. But I think just the fact that it survived out here in the winter uh, is a good sign. I'm glad it's putting out new shoots. Uh, I got a couple of uh, little red currant canes here and uh, here. Oh no, sorry, black currant. Black currant. I got those from my mom. She rooted those. Then we got a couple of little elderberry sticks that I just jammed in there when I was doing some pruning in the back. Uh, it seems like one of them has rooted, that, that little guy, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I don't even know if I really want it growing there, but I just figured like uh, may as well get some more growing happening here and then I can plant it somewhere else if I need it. The uh, Cornelian cherry dogwood is doing great. I'll probably do a separate little video about that. Um, to give people an update, but uh, I think that's that's doing great. Put on a lot of new growth since last year, and uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. So you can see, I've got lots of new raspberries growing up everywhere. Um, all the green stalks are all new growth, as you can see. So those will hopefully have fruit on them next year. Uh, this year, we're going to have fruit on these guys here, and this guy seems like it got attacked maybe by the aphids. I'm not sure. It might have also been. Um, late uh, cold snap that we had maybe did that that guy in but uh yeah lots of new raspberry plants all over the place so i'm super happy about that so yeah um i guess that's the moral of the story i'm gonna probably end the video here that uh don't give up too quick i was gonna just come in there and scythe it all down and then uh you know just like start over again but um i don't think i need to i think there's still value there obviously, and uh, pretty happy that I didn't. So hopefully that's a good lesson for everybody. It was for me. I was really thinking I was gonna give up there. So uh, pretty happy about that. Anywho, um, got a volunteer <laughs> walnut tree over here that's been growing there for I think two seasons now. I might replant that somewhere else. I don't think I really want it where it is. Um, well, actually I definitely don't want it where it is, but uh, I don't know where to put it yet, so. Um, I don't know, I've just taken a much more laser fair attitude towards uh, trees growing, uh, especially volunteer trees. I kind of take the attitude now that uh, it's kind of good for them to grow anywhere because they do cast a little bit of needed shade. And then uh, even if they're not in the right place, I can either always move them or just uh, chop and drop them uh, for mulch and, um, you know, even chip them for uh, wood chips if I need. So I'm not really concerned about that. There's a little, uh, I think this is a European maple over here. That's pretty cool. I'll leave that for a while and then maybe plant that out somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's it. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's gardening and uh, making good use of the fine weather. Finally, uh, seems like the uh, warm weather is here. So yep. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you liked it and uh, see you in another one soon. Hi. All right, guys, maybe I just didn't want to leave you hanging of uh, what the final finished weeded bed will look like. So uh, this is, uh, I think, two days later. Yesterday we came back with Mrs. CO. She helped me uh, with a bunch more weeding and also she planted a bunch of tomatoes up front there past the wild strawberries. And then uh, got a couple of sweet potatoes planted here. Cleaned out this whole area as well past the strawberries. Um, we had mulched uh, this as well. We had some tomatoes and uh, zucchinis and stuff growing in here last year. Uh, I've never grown sweet potatoes before. This is my first try. I uh, got these slips off of a potato using a method I got from the Doug and Stacy channel. Probably do a separate video on that. Um, seems like uh, it's a pretty easy way to get uh, your own slips going. I've got a few more that I need to plant out, um, but they're pretty cool. You can see the sage plants are doing good now. I got them all freed up. We got more of the strawberries freed up. There's a couple of little, uh, I think those are oak trees growing up out of the uh, mulch and the compost. We got some more over here. Um, so uh, 
that's pretty cool. I'll leave those for a while, figure out what to do with them later. And then here you can just see kind of the, uh, the area that I mostly did the other day. So that's it, just wanted to show it to you guys. Get some little tomatoes and stuff planted out here and uh, we will see what's what. So yeah, maybe just from this angle so you guys can see it. Uh, a vast difference to how it was when we started with uh, chest high weeds. So it's looking pretty good. Got to make some more mulch. I keep saying this, but uh, too much mulch is never enough. I always wish I had more. So yeah, that's it for today. See you guys in another video soon. Bye.